All right, we're continuing with this arc where I don't know what's happening. Cause like, okay, we're, we're trying to become like a merchant, right? So we enter the merchant's guild. There's like a test scene. We pass it with flying colors. Everybody's apparently really dumb here. And I think this goes into the theme of how the goddess designed the humans out of pure vanity, right? She just loves beautiful things. So if you think about like the most superficial qualities of like, I don't know, like a boy toy or like someone that looks really good is like they're really good looking, but they might be also dumb. So is that what they're kind of tying into this? I'm not really sure. We passed that shit. There is like two people that's like spying on us because we took up the job for that one client. Basically, he's like a good person too. I thought people were kind of shit talking and saying everyone that works with them, something bad happens. No, it's just because the monsters that we have to fight to get the ruby eyes are, I guess, kind of dangerous. That's why it shit happens to them. Not really sure what's going to happen moving forward, but Tomo is back with first samurai skills. Let's begin today's reaction. Torture <laughs> scene right off the bat? <laughs> what? Wait. I just... I just played defense. I just played defense for the CEO. But this is the butler right now. This is the butler and they have a person tied up. This is to do experimentations, right? Weren't they? I thought they were just trying to cure the mom and the... Wait, did I get cooked? Did, did I get fucking baited? Are they actually bad? Just because of the butler's like fucking monocle is glowing like that, it makes me feel like they're bad. Wait, I thought he was a good person. They're doing this to save his wife. That's the guy who cursed him. Oh. Wondrous Medicine Production. Ambrosia, right? He just really has that much clout. Rembrandt. He's like some kind of alchemy meister so he can help with the production of Ambrosia. Okay. What if Ambrosia doesn't actually work? Okay. Basically just a chemist, right? This can just cure everything? Fuck the goddess, dude. Fuck you. Fuck you, goddess. That's what I'm saying, dude. Emma's more efficient? Wait, he's fixing him up! Yes, he sped him up. Too long! Sorry, too late. Okay, so extract it from that. So instead, you use the ruby eyes. Implying that we will somehow secure maybe a monopoly on Ambrosia in the future. How? Did he even do anything there? Because he just fucking casted that magic. That's part of the extractation process. But he was so fucking slow. Makoto just basically sped him up. Then all we did was just this. Just fucking put it up there. And just let it fucking drip. Alchemy Meister my ass. I feel like Makoto did everything there, bro. Maybe the light novel goes in a little bit more detail? I don't know. I had a little bit more expectation from this, but they did say it's a simple process. Wow. Oh, they're gonna break. Better catch him. Oh, right. Just open fucking domain. Dude, this is so ridiculous to use these kind of spells to just catch this in time. Ah. Safe, though. That's kind of insane. That was actually impressive. What happened? Did the curse spread? What? What? Oh, don't tell me he's got the curse too now. What? The wife put up a fight and fucked up his arm? What? What? 
これまで起きたことはなかったのだが。ジュビオニクマレタ、ボーガイジュツシキでしょ。Hindrance woven in s e n a t a m e n o So it's like a self defense mechanism for people that's cursed to kind of fight back. Interesting. <laughs> I kind of want to see, like, what did the wife actually do? ジュビオニクマレタ。はじめはただの軽い発熱だった水を怖がり出したかと思うと Fear of water. 光を恐れことも The mom is a fucking demon. 髪は抜けて Oh my god, she actually does look like a demon. は色に Holy shit. しかった姿 Oh. そんな地獄が今日終わる Isn't the daughter still around too with the curse too, right? Is, that, is it just a wife or was there a daughter? 奥様のところに案内してください<笑>投薬のためにハザルは残りの材料でもう一本飛躍をは,はい Restraining should be fine クズのハザルは OK that was a pretty cool scene 私も先ほど波外れた身体能力を目の当たりにしばご安心ください呪いは終わらせます Alright But if it's just as simple as just restraining her and just fucking shoving the potion down her throat, then that should be pretty easy. But I wonder if there's gonna be something more than that. Whoa! You are right. The beauty is definitely gone. I mean, you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. There's probably something super nice inside if we give her some potions. Maybe all her hair. Bald. Bald! <laughs> the way she moves is fucking scary too. I would not say wood right there, and suddenly it just goes like that. <laughs> All her beauty might have gone away, but the Giat is still there. She kind of looks like a reptilian, yeah, like a fucking snake, a snake girl. Ah, uh, sorry, lizard girl. More Giat. All right, judo flip. Damn. Yo, that form was amazing. I thought we would use Kai or some shit and like the barrier and Don't put your hand right there, dumbass! It's gonna get bitten off! You've gotta be actually the stupidest motherfucker. <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> Just put me, put my fucking bare hand right above my mouth! Gee, I wonder what's gonna happen! God. Maybe that was part of the plan? Oh, my, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. It was to hold her down. I, I spoke too soon, I spoke too soon. No shot her hair comes back. No shot her hair is coming back right now. Lisa. It really is a cure-all potion. What the fuck? Level 8 curse, by the way. But like, one drop. A little bit of potion. That's not one drop. But instant cure just like that. Like, boom. And it's gonna return her hair. Daughters. They're all like that too? They're all like creepy looking lizard girls? Here we go. Oh. <laughs> this is this the fucking corners? <laughs> Only one daughter? You're gonna s- Ah, you fucking idiot. Is this a running gag? He's gonna constantly do this shit? Eregan to- God damn, that was cool. Damn, Master Butler, yeah. Okay, one more daughter. Oh, she's actually speaking and warning us. Oh, she's not completely transitioned yet. I see. The other eye is normal. More judo flip! <laughs> Something about this is so hilarious. 343. Every one of them, the mom, the two daughters. Makoto just fucking catches them and just fucking judo flips them down on the fucking ground. I know we need to do this to restrain them, but something about that's hilarious to me. And like, they're so abrupt. It's like five seconds of action with epic music and done. Alright, cool. But there's those two people still that was kind of chasing us. I wonder what's gonna happen with them. A demon lord to be. I don't know. Yeah, the dad's been suffering for how many- I uh, fuck the goddess though! Are we ever gonna see her, her eyes though? They're really hiding her eyes for some reason. I don't know why, but they just won't show us her eyes. What if she's actually super ugly there? What, what if she's deformed? 
I don't know. I'm trying to think of a reason. Like someone like her, so beautiful apparently. All she cares about is vanity, but they're not showing us her eyes. There's some kind of twist. There must be some reason. Or maybe they're just trying to keep us mysterious. I don't know. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be the two people that was kind of like trailing us saying, that's the guy that took the job. What are you doing here? She must have leveled up more, right, after the training? <laughs> oh, shit, okay! Out of nowhere? <laughs> oh, no, guys. Tomoe and Mio is dead from that random NPC mob fire spell. Our girls are gone, man. How, what are we gonna do? <laughs> no! Get the fuck out of my face. Dude, they are so outclassed. What are you doing, you two goons? They could have dodged it, but they just wanted to determine the assassin's strength. You know that the, the whole point of assassin is to kill, but they were so confident. It's like, ah, let's just fuck around. Let's just try it. Let's see how strong they are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Tomo has been aware of that too. Oh, that's why she's here. Okay. Ooh, 20 mobs. 20 NPCs. Ooh. So annoying, dude. For how much? You're willing to negotiate? Really? No, Mio has some other plans. What are you doing? Nah, she's got something cooking. I don't know what, but okay. Oh, because we might level the entire fucking town if Tomoe and Mio goes in again. So only Tomoe is gonna go in. But this should be like a stronger Tomoe. Well, at least a little bit, right? The Knight's Erendry. All she was doing is fucking just like training throughout the last couple two episodes. So I wonder if she actually leveled up a lot more. Hustle. She hustling. Why? But like, why do they care? They wanted the money more than anyone else? Barehanded? No sword? She's still fucking role-playing. Let's get in the fucking fight! Just tell her the battle has started. <laughs> this is so casual. He's like, enough. Wait, hold on a second. <laughs> yeah, we're level one. Plus one role play. All right, here she goes. No, I want swordsmanship. But they would actually kill them. What did she do there? She caught the sword. And then she threw the sword at them. As I say, don't kill them. Well, it looks like it kind of cut the arrow here. I think it just kind of dismantled it. It didn't like stab them. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. This might be my thumbnail. Okay, this is the this is the thumbnail. So basically, I'm just gonna copy paste this, and I'm just gonna basically put my face on Makoto here, looking at Tomoe kneeing this girl in the back. <laughs> oh, she got a sword! <laughs> like Rurouni Kenshin. No. Come on, where's my 10 gold? Don't forget to pay up. Technically, we should just wait for them to die. If we want to maximize the profits, to just loot them entirely. She's absolutely right. You demon! Oh, he's straight up teleporting away? I thought this was like a spell for both of them. <laughs> Brett was like, I ain't having this. I'm out. <laughs> bye bye. Makoto too quick though. Ooh. 
I hope not. Where have we heard this line before? Oh yeah, Zetsuya. I'm the strongest adventurer in Zetsuya. Fucking meaty something, right? Oh my god, we've already done this again, bro. Shut the fuck up. Steal it. Oh. Instant disarm into knockout. Three piece attack. Boom, boom, and legs. Maybe. Then they'll. They who? The memories. Well, this is better than like a, a like if if Tomoe didn't have the memory reading abilities, then we would have had to done like a fucking five minute flashback. Just oh, he actually cares about all these kids, and maybe he's taking care of a fucking orphanage. But do we care about this right now? Do we care about this? At the end of the day, he probably didn't want anyone to get the Rembrandt um, quest because he wanted to maximize the profits and the money so that he could like support these kids. But hmm. I don't know, man. Maybe it's just this kids, actually. It's not the orphanage. So two different people gave the curse? So one person to the mom and another to the daughters because... If you look at here, like this person, this is supposed to be a flashback. This is a flashback, right? And, and people said this is a flashback because this guy isn't around anymore who cursed them. I'm, the more you guys fucking tell me, the more I get confused with the shit going on. Like this is straight up just not making any fucking sense. <laughs> Separate curse. Just a sleeping curse. Not level 8. I don't know. That's the actual guy that cursed. Yeah, that's the guy that was high up in the beginning. So they blame Rembrandt because of this. So they curse him? Or his family? So he's just basically kind of radicalizing him right now to make Rembrandt get hated more. Curse them. Okay. But it wasn't just the sleep. It was already too late. It was like a level 8 fucking curse that turns him into fucking mutants. Okay. I mean, he's got kids, right? He's got friends and kids. We can't kill him. That's kind of fucked up. Especially we just saw the memory of the... Because like he's so poor and he's got to take care of the kids too. But like, damn, Neo's really going to hustle him out of 10 coins right now? Oh my god, this is kind of fucked up. Take the entire bag? <laughs> Neo don't give a fuck. It's been like five minutes. All right, whatever. I feel bad, man. <laughs> okay. Pay with his life? You want to end him? Morris! Jesus Christ! Honestly, if... I mean, they, he still was kind of part of it, right? He was not aware of the full plan because the witch doctor kind of just kind of lied to him, right? It's supposed to be as like a simple sleep curse. Psych! That's just a level 8 mutant turning curse, but if I was Mr. Rembrandt, I would probably want to kill him too. Because you're going to help out here? Or what? You're just going to limit his adventuring? He should just do fucking chore work here. He should become a butler here, dude. Teach from Morris. How's he going to get money if he's so poor and broke? He just quit adventuring too? What, but what are you going to do? Don't tell me this guy's going to be a reoccurring character. Is he going to join us? What's going on? There's the kids again. 
Okay, so it was an orphanage. It's not his kids. I can peek through your memories. You have no privacy from me. He's a good person. This is the invincible blue dragon, Shin, and... You know, we shouldn't tell him that, though. The fuck? Wait, this looks really expensive. Damn. Even the scabbard. Elder dwarf, too. Would he sell this for money to protect the orphan? I mean, I don't know. It's a gift, but... We need money. Okay. Tomoe is a servant now. He's gonna be another fucking samurai wannabe, okay? Really? She's gonna be a spy. Why does Tomoe need a spy? Just fucking grab that orphanage and put in the demiplane. Fuck it. Interesting development with this character. Rembrandt and Morris again. Wait, what's going on? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They were willing to crush him early on before the competition starts? He was! Because didn't he say like the whole reason why people got a job is because of Rembrandt and I'm sure the witch doctor also suffered, so... Mm, Rembrandt isn't... I mean, it's fucking capitalism at the end of the day. People are just trying to do business and look out for themselves, but... Interesting development here. What's going on? We're gonna like actually face them in like a battle of like corporations and merchantry in the future? Okay, or maybe that's just like a little outro for them? And we're not gonna see him again? If this is pig and Emma eats it, can Emma eat bacon? Is that okay? Have you seen videos of um, there's like chickens and you like give them two foods, right? One's like, I don't know, fucking chicken kibbles or some shit, you know, regular food. And for chickens, you know, and then the other one is like KFC, and they always go for the KFC, which is kind of fucked up, right? <laughs> Could you imagine if Emma just straight up eating bacon right now? <laughs> uh oh, ending's playing. And that concludes the Rembrandt arc, which was pretty interesting, right? I think the world building in terms of like the existence of like different levels of curses is pretty interesting. We got to figure out Ambrosia that we're probably going to try to mass produce and kind of monopolize ourselves. Interesting because like he specifically said it, right? The prized product of the Kuzunoa Trading Company. I mean, we're just going to do it, right? I mean, in Reincarnation of Slime, which is another anime that kind of took inspiration from this show, they pretty much just like have highly refined potions that they ma mass produce. Why can't we do it too, right? So I wonder how we'll do that. This character here was kind of funny with the tripping and just the constant running gag. And basically, Makoto just hates everybody. Well, that's not true. But there's a lot of scenes where he just kind of banters. He just kind of pissed off and annoyed, which is kind of funny. I wonder if that's intentional. The fact that the mom just fought the dad while trying to administer the ambrosia was unintentionally funny. And the judo, I, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I have a weird sense of humor, but every time you fucking judo flip these daughters and the moms with epic music playing for five seconds, that was out of context, just funny. Just out of fucking nowhere, this silver haired dude joins our team now as Tomoe's spy. Why does she need a spy? For what? I'm sure it's not actual serious. Maybe it is, but I'm in. I'm expecting some kind of like dumb comedy. Something along the lines of Tomoe likes to watch samurai films. She needs a spy to look at outside so that no one shows up while she's weaving out. I don't fucking know what they're going to do with this guy. But that's it. We're going to one last arc. I'm not really sure because this is episode 7. And we have about 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, right? So maybe we have one final arc for 5 episodes and we go into season 2. But that's what it is. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. Until next time, take care.